in the daily news and they're set 2,000 meters handler comes scampering clear they dispatched in the daily news grade one from the 2,000 meter marker not a bad beginning this one but Louis the King one of the trailers and been ridden out in the early stages off to the front is as you like top jets the gray Everest in the greens well placed Captain America runs up into third place. Whistle stop is near the rail. Earl of Derby's got the red cap. That's on the inside. Then Bezanova. Now followed by Mercado. Behind that one, Rake Chestnut. Louis the King and Legislate. They the last two. They ten lengths off the leader. And that leader going along is as you like. From the great top jet. Captain America's back in third place. And Whistle stop is fourth. Everest is back fifth. Then Earl of Derby atomic rush Bezanova's on the outside with the other cap then comes Rakes Chestnut Earl of Derby is the red cap near the rail then Mikado Legislate and Louis the King they continue to trail it and they're racing about 8-9 lengths off the leader they go to the 900 in the Daily News 2000 and the leader is as you like from Top Jet Captain America just waits at the rail third then Everest followed on the outside by Bezanova whistle stop Earl of Derby Darby's got seven lengths to track down. It's becoming much more compact. Legislate's going wide around them as on the move. Then Earl of Derby. Louis the King still waits. Going to lead run on the inside. Then Mikado. Top of the lane now in the Daily News. Anybody can win it. Captain America goes through down the inside. Whistle stops. Going to make a bit. Bezanova. Legislate comes right out. Louis the King's under pressure. Rakes Chestnut running on. Legislate comes out. Captain America. And here's Legislate with a long, lengthy stride. And Legislate hit the front. Rakes Chestnut the outside. Legislate's digging in. Rakes Chestnut's coming on powerfully. Legislate maybe just held on. Great run from Rakes Chestnut in second. We'll wait for the judges. They went over as one. I think Legislate just lost long enough. Let's wait for the slow mo replay. In the daily news, he did it the hard way. Maybe he just prevailed. A great run from Rakes Chestnut back in second. We'll take you through the third and fourth placings. Let's go to that slow mo replay. Hold your breath here in the latter stages. He hit the front at Legislate. He came from the tail of the field. He did it the difficult way. And let's go to that slow mo replay between Legislate, Rakes Chestnut. An absolute blinding run. And they went over the line as one in the daily news. We're still waiting for that slow mo to come up. Bears and over was right there. Here's the slow-mo replay. Legislate on the inside, just the leader, and he looks a winner here, but here comes Rakes Chestnut with a terrific run on the outside. Legislate's just in front. Rakes Chestnut's wearing him down, coming down to the line. Here's the wire. He won it. Legislate lasted long enough. Rakes Chestnut second. Look at the run from Louis the King, who was in all sorts of trouble halfway up the straight. Fourth, Captain America. America, Bezanova, Top Jed, Everest, behind that atomic rush in the Daily News 2000. What a cliffhanger. Whistle stop, Mikado. We'll take a look at that head on and legislate a big son of his great sire dynasty at the top of the lane. The winner and runner up, they're on the extreme right hand side of your picture. Here comes Legislate. He goes past Rake Chestnut. Louis the King's in trouble halfway down the straight with the red cap. He goes in. Legislate now is the leader. Rake Chestnut comes around him. At this stage, Legislate, the son of dynasty, is clear by a length. Richard Faree's looking over his right shoulder, his left shoulder, and Rake Chestnut. Chestnut comes with a swooping run, but Legislate has won it. To add more to the net, uh, national title of the trainers, it goes once again to Justin Snaith. Back to the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, returning to the winners in Well, we've just seen a breathtaking win by number one Legislate, Justin Snate, teaming up with his stable jock, Richard Faree, the son of Dynasty. Well done to all the winning owners here, Jack Mitchell, Drakenstein, Stud, and of course, Newberry Racing, Mr. Dennis Evans. But as a young man, Richard Faree showed the talent. 
It's called big match temperament. And today it was to the fore. A brilliant ride, Richard. Yourself and the market rival, Louis the King, were at the back of the field, and it was decision time. And you made the decisions. Things worked out for you. You, you had to go wide. Well, you know, um, it wasn't the most ideal to be wide, but um, there was a bit of unfair, unfair play at the back. Um, I'm just glad that I was riding the better horse on the day, you know. This is a champion. Um, I've said it time and time again, and today it's just showing how good he really is. Now, we talk about decisions in racing. They split decisions. Things are not going for you at the break. You're at the back of the field. What was going through your mind there? Well, look, um, I knew they were going miles too slow. Um, I was a little bit concerned, but, um, you know, he was going places. This was, um, he was traveling well in the race. Um, fortunate for me, somebody else was, um, well, the, actually, the second place was running three deep at that stage. And then um, came into the straight. Uh, I've got a horse with such great acceleration. Um, I, pin I pinned him, and you know he took off so well. And you know, I came into Australia riding with the hands as much as I could. And then when I gave him a smack, and there was still more horse. And you know you saw what he did today. It's, it's brilliant. These decisions are made while the race is on, but you need the horse underneath you to deliver. And this horse has given you 110% today. Well, you know, um, every time I've ridden a horse, he's just mind blowing. You know, you can do a canter on him at home. And it gives you the goosebumps. So it's far and few between you find a horse like this. So I just want to say well done to Mr. Snaith. Um, he's really turned this horse out well. And, you know, to keep a horse sound as big as he is, you know, it's not an easy game. And, you know, thank goodness, touch wood, that nothing's ever gone wrong with this horse. So well done to Justin again. Um, you know, to Newbury Racy, to everybody involved. They've got themselves a champion, yeah. Massive day for you. A grade one double. We'll see you for the presentation. Thank you very much. Richard Furee, Justin Snaith. Let's get the trainer in. Justin, you know, just watching that race on the monitor, how was your mood uh, while he was at the back of the field? No, look, it, uh, it's not easy, I must tell you. I, I, I sometimes prefer not to watch. Uh, you know, I'm, I know a lot of people might think that I like the microphone, but um, I'm one of those people I'd actually rather stay at home and, uh, you know, do the work, and I'm a, I'm a horseman first. And uh, I just, you know, I really enjoy my horses, and uh, when I'm at track in the morning and work every day, for me it's home, and uh, I love it. And uh, just to see a horse like this just ooze confidence and as I said I mean if we're going to beat the best three-year-olds let's do it in the hardest possible way because you know there's no excuses afterwards and I don't think we could have ever made that hard enough we had we were eyeballing Louis the King it took us out a little bit into the straight and it was game on you know the, and I, I think he I think he ran an unbelievable race Louis the King in running se uh, third where they were and, and the route that they had to take through this field it, it they're top horses and um you know just all credit to them they've had the hardest Joburg season they they could have asked for we're still fresh and uh, as i said just very happy and to to everyone that's concerned with this also obviously to dennis evans and gail they've been fantastic patrons of mine and when my brother uh, phoned um jack and, and nancy and gaynor and said guys there's an opportunity to get involved in a superstar uh it was just a matter of just putting pen to paper. So all credit to them. Uh, they, they are such avid race goers and just they make my life so much easier. It's just an absolute pleasure training for such fantastic people. And to Chevelli Stud, just well done, Vaughan, top, top. And, uh, you know, if he pulls up all well, uh, you know, he's going to be probably one of the serious horses in the Durban July. Justin, it's, it's about believing. Believing in yourself, believing in the horse, and believing in your jockey. What an unbelievable ride by Richard. Uh, without a doubt. Um, he's just oozing confidence at the moment. I don't know where he's getting it from, but uh, he's just got so much confidence. And it just makes my life e easier. When, when I walk into the parade ring and, and a lot of people, the public, want to know, well, well what are you going to say to a jockey? And uh, it's very simple. You know, most of the time I say win. You know, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, what more can I tell him? But, um, you know, just, just so blessed to be part of uh, such great horses. And, uh, and it's just a, such a love and passion of mine. And, just, and to the whole team, to John Freeman that, that's always been involved and, and you know, put this horse forward uh, with my brother Jonathan, uh, just well done. We'll see you back for the presentation. Great, thank you. We'll see you back for the July. <laughs> Lovely. Anybody representing the owners? Jono, you want to say for Nancy Kamtu, let's, let's have a chat quickly on behalf of the owners. Well done. Thank you so much. That was heart-stopping, to say the least. But um, just to say thank you so much to this amazing team that does an unbelievable job. So... Jono and Fran and Justin and Lauren, they're amazing, and their whole team, and also to Vaughan, who I'm sure is watching at home. 
Thank you for breeding such a fabulous horse. Well, give our best to all the winning honours. Thank you. And Gaynor, obviously, and Dennis as well. I'm sure they're watching. We wish they were here. Brilliant. Thank you so much. What Lovely. Lovely. We're going to break, and we'll be back shortly for the winning presentation of the Daily News 2000. Welcome back for the winning presentation of the 23rd 14 running of the Daily News 2000. And uh, joining us in the Gold Horseshoe, Mr. Robert Movis, Chairman of Gold Circle, and alongside him, Mr. Lorn McLean. He's the Circulation and Marketing Director of Independent new Newspapers. Before we start the winning presentation, the Chairman to say a few words. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the directors, management, and staff of Gold Circle, welcome to the Daily News race day. And what a day of racing it has been. What a finish for Daily News 2000 has been. I'd like to welcome Mr. Lorne Macklin, Circulation and Marketing Director for Independent Newspapers, and all his guests. And I hope that you're enjoying your day with us. We have been treated to superb racing recently, and today has been no different. I'd like to take the opportunity of congratulating all the winning connection on their wins. As you can see, our party track at Greyville has now been completed. We are excited to announce that on Tuesday evening, commencing at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., we will be holding four trial races, which may be viewed on Teletrack. If you want to attend, please be free and come. You're most welcome to join us to witness history in the making at the home of Africa's greatest horse racing event, the Vodacom Durban July. I would like to call on to Mr. McLean to say a few words. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. What an incredible race, an exciting race. And I wonder how many of you noticed who the sire was of this horse that has just won. Dynasty. Dynasty won this race many years ago and then went on to win the July. Daily News 2000 has regularly produced winners of the Daily News 2000. And I think to Justin, you have a potential winner here of the Durban July, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for your support. The Daily News has a long association with Gold Circle and the racing fraternity of this town and our parent company with racing around the country. To all of you who supported, thank you. And finally, to the connections of Legislate, Justin and the owner, owners, very, very well done. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lorne McLean and Mr. Robert Movis. Now for the winning presentation. And first up, the winning jockey is Richard Faree, a grade one double on Daily News a Day. Well done to winning jockey. Richard Furie. The trainer that's vying for the South African Trainers Championship is Justin Snate, and he's had a massive day today on Daily News Day. Well done to the winning trainer, Justin Snate. And then the winning owners, Jack Mitchell, Drakenstein, Stud uh, nominee, Mrs. Kane or Rupert, Newbury Racing, Mr. Dennis Evans, and of course, Nancy here on course uh, to represent the winning owners. Well done to the winning owners of the son of Dynasty, bred by Shivali Stud, Vaughn Costa, and uh, his name is Legislate. 
the gentleman that takes care of legislate. He's come down from Cape Town with Justin, and he's been traveling with this horse, taking care of his uh, prized uh, horse, a champion, no doubt, his legislate. Well done to Jabu in Lumlu. Well done to Jabu in Lumlu. A big thank you to the chairman and, of course, Mr. Lorne McLean for assisting us with the winning presentation. Uh, and it goes to legislate the 2014 champion of the Daily News. Now, we've had uh, a competition running and two lucky winners are going to win a five-night stay at Eland Luxury Lodge. And uh, that's uh, eight people. It includes breakfast, two guided game drives, including snacks and drinks, each worth 26 thousand rand. We have the pleasure of introducing Mr. Andre Skuman. He is the general manager of the Windmills Resort. Of course, uh, they are, are in charge at uh, the Eland Luxury Lodge, and he's here today. Thanks, uh, Mr. Skuman, for coming down. Important time there for two lucky winners, and you're going to do the honor for us. The first winner, sir. Oh, we're just verifying the answers and everything is correct. It is a correct entry. Thank you to Andre. And the winner is Siva Naidu. Siva Naidu, congratulations. All I'm going to say, Siva, is that you're from Verulam. And you're going to tell us the rest. Well done to Siva Naidu. And then the second lucky winner in a fantastic prize worth 26000 Andre, that's the second winner. Everything correct, Monica just verifying it, 100% correct. And the winner is P. Stienkamp. P. Stienkamp, who is from Bel Air. Congratulations to our two winners. I'm going to repeat their names, Siva Naidu and P. Stienkamp. Thanks to Andre Skuman, the general manager of the Windmills Resort, for coming down and assisting us with this lucky draw. Two people winning a fantastic prize worth 26,000 rand.